Welcome, I'm Michael Mike, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to EQ and compress with this beat right here. Okay. Now, what we will be covering in this little segment right here is um, everything you'll need to know. Why am I using an EQ? I know you hold a lot of stuff. Like I told you, I heard a lot of things on uh, YouTube's. And some of them was right and some of them was wrong. But you're a producer. You want to make your stuff tight. So what I'm telling you is I'm going to give you that information. And all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, notification button. Because I'm doing something on everything that you need to know in these videos, right? Subscribe. Leave a comment. You know what I mean? If you stuck about anything, let me know. Okay? Now, enough of this. Let's get into EQ and why I use this and why... You know, people use this as a producer. Like I said, I am a producer. You know what I mean? If you go to my page, you'll see me with Bone Thugs in Harmony and Second and None, Nocturnal, and I'm posting more. So let's get into this. Enough about me. Let's roll. This beat. With this beat right here, now, this is cool. And when you make your beat, you first do your beat like this, and you be like, yeah, my beat cool, right? And it is. But you just mix this down with some vocals, right? That's not how it's done. As an engineer, this is what must be done. After you got your tracks together, you got to learn the EQ. Now, first way for me to teach you is teach you some of the wrong things. Now, this is some of the wrong things that they teach you. With this, they tell you, go to this EQ, low pass, okay, and then come to this side, and then we're going to um, high pass, okay, and then with both of these together, we're going to play, okay, this is what they telling you do with the kicks, okay, is to, okay, to do this to the kick okay take this EQ here and um, listen to the kick and they tell you to push this in all the way right here now to your ears what you're thinking is that yeah you hearing it more drummy more deeper do do but it's boxy okay it's stuffed okay and then they tell you to do the same entire technique to this one okay let me see oh okay let me go to this one the same technique now if i use this same technique let's play it Okay, and I do this to the bass, to the sub, like this. Okay, let me play the sub so you can hear it. Okay. Okay, here we go. listen okay the both of these sound muddy okay they should be boom 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 boom, boom clean now listen to this okay now if we play it with the beat Let's see how this sounds. Okay, the bottom end, see this is the thing about new producers. 
when y'all putting your material together. This is how uh, engineers can identify you. Your low end sounds muddy. It should boom, 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 boom. All right. Yours is boom, 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 like that. This is what I mean by muddy sound, like something's over your mouth. Okay. Those ends need to be cleaned. Okay. So those techniques, like I said, I got to show you the wrong first, then show you the right. Okay. So. I will um, reset this. Um, let me see. Um, um, okay. This is how we'll go back and set this. Um, let me see. I'm not to hit the wrong one. Which one are you? you uh, yeah, beacon. All right. So, Let's go back over that. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is for, let me see. So gonna, okay, this is the kick. Okay, I'm going to mute all of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all these sounds. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you why. Sure, I'm going to do this and make this order. Oh, wait a minute supposed to be here. Let me put you back on. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Right here, I'm going to low pass. That's cutting into the sound. That's why I'm going to put it right here. And when I'm going to bring this to about, it's about eight. Now, they vary for different instruments. Okay. Now, as you see mids, I'm going to add some mids, even though it ain't in a good mid spot, it's about right here. Notice I only raised a little bit, okay? Now, this is the punch at about, uh, kind of looks like the B1750 something. Now, I'm going to raise that, okay? Now, for this one, I'm going to high pass. The reason why I'm going to high pass this, I want to cut off the sound from the back and leave this at about at 50. Okay? It differs for every drum. Not all of them. This is a good start for you. Okay? For your kick. Now, what you can do is take an identical copy of this of the kick. Okay? This is what I did previously with this one. Okay? I took this, this same kick, right, and I copied it over here to the sub, okay, except right here, let me show you, let me do a detach, okay, with this one here, I copy from this one here, okay, let me do a detach. Okay, yeah, B tag. Okay, this is one. This is the this the base. Okay, this the kick. Okay, let me see something. Yeah, D tag. You should stay right here. All right, that's the kick. Now I'm gonna go get the base. Okay, we got both of these. These are identical. Okay. Now, what I did this right here for the punch of the kick, I elevated. Okay. Now, for the base, I took out. That's why I made a copy. Normally, this was right here. So I just took that lever from here and I pulled it down in this one. Okay, as you can see here. So that's letting the kick come in more. Okay, so it becomes clear. Okay, also, I cut this at 8, but this one at 9 because I wanted more of some of that buzz off the, um, the 808, the the distortion on it, 
All right. So those are the only difference. Okay. Now let's hear these. Okay. I'm going to shut them off and I'm going to play these. It still has life to it, meat to it. All right. Now, the reason why you really can't see well is because I would suggest you um, get a um, um, let's see. Um, we're gonna do it, uh, okay, now, let's look at this graph, now, this is parametric EQ3, now, if I cut the bass off, let's take a look, okay, you see, this is the kick, okay, this is the punch of the kick, okay, up here and it's showing you the range of it but not only that you see the highs if we come down here and look at the degrees of it is about eight or nine okay so everything we're getting precise okay now if i were to cut it all the way to here like they're telling you all of this information is not going to be there okay so we like to do this. The, the front of it, uh, the boost is the front of the drum and the back of the drum. So those concepts we got to keep. We got to leave it humanly. Okay. So when I pay the beat, it doesn't sound dead, you know. And with the bass. Of course, a side chain, which means highlight this one, go down here, right click, and where it say side chain right there, I already did it, and that's all you have to do to make it come through. Now, it's not muddy, okay? Now, the second thing is to compress the limiter, okay? I'm going to show you first with this kick, okay? When you get this limiter and it first come out, you ought to, let me see, this one. It's already set, so I'm going to use this one, okay? Let me turn that one off. Now, when you get this, the thing about it, the saturation, now the kick sounds totally different, okay? This is what I'm saying, okay? Let me turn it off. Now listen to the kick. Okay, now, after I EQ'd it, after I EQ'd it, the kick and added the limit. Listen now. It got a total different sound. So what I'm showing to you with this limiter, the saturation button, it's gonna make your stuff sound different. So you want to turn it off. All right now go back. You see how it sounds normal. Now listen to this. That sound distorted. Okay, turn this off first. Okay. Let me explain. Threshold means when I turn this, this line is going to come down when I turn it. Okay. This line, threshold means when I touch this, start uh, evening out the stuff. All right. The reason why you're going to use a compressor, because it might be a guitar thing or, or something or something loud to jump out. It'll hold the high part of the sound down. And if you like, some people rap or sing like, hey, and then, we, you know what I mean? The hey, it'll hold the hey, and then and we was, it'd be, and then it'd be like, hey, and then we was. You would hear it, clear it straight through instead of highs and lows part, okay? So that's what the threshold do. Next to threshold is the knee. That's for like coloring, make some kind of color to it, okay? This is the first thing you're going to do. You're not going to mess with the threshold. The first thing you're going to do to any compressor is go to the ratio. You're going to turn this to 2 to 1. How do you know it's 2 to 1? Look over here. Anything you turn a knob, it's going to show up over here, the amount, right? So you want to turn to it says 2 to 1, okay? So 
That's two to one. Okay. Now, that's for it to start working. The attack is this. Okay. If I want to go take a sound of boom. Okay. If I make the attack like it is here all the way down, it's going to go boom. Okay. The more I open it, the more the boom, the ring of it is. And a release is to make the mm, be quiet, okay? Because we don't want it ringing like a sub, okay? And sustain is just the whole the amount you use and thicken it up, kind of like parallel compression. This is noise gate. This later on, this is, you have to watch my tutorials only. This is for like vocals. If you rapping, when you're not saying the way, it'll cl close the sound off. Or if you're tracking for a band, if you're using a band, if I got, you know, noise bleed, which means the hi-hat is going t -t -t in the back with the kick, I can just set the gate up so when the kick, then the rest be quiet right in between there and get rid of the t -t -t sound in the back. This can be used for vocals and a whole lot of things, okay? So now I'm going to play the kick, okay? Now, I'm going to bring the threshold down until it starts to touch. When using the compressor, you don't do this. Okay, let me show you the don'ts for the do's. Listen how crushed it sounds. And lifeless. You won't where it got life still in it. Okay, this is... I can hear it already compressing, even though y'all don't, okay? This is kind of hearing, but about right here is why I kick. Now, different kicks, okay, that we use, they differ. So all I make the same, all right? So get used to that. Little is best, all right? The knee. See, I had to change up the sound a little, all right? Now, with this attack, if I want punchy drums like that, then I leave it up there. If I want to let on in the boom of the kick, so I'm going to start the opening. It. Now I'm getting the fatness of it. All right. Now the release is like holding it. No, I want it quick. Okay. And we'll add some sustain. Uh, it would depend. I can hear it which is kind of like parallel compression, okay? Now, now we can add some saturation and just a little, okay? We're baking a cake. We don't want it over-exaggerated. Now what I'm going to do, what you do is copy, hit the limiter, go to this attack, and paste that value because you don't want the limiter and the compressor knobs different. That's another reason why your stuff is not coming out right. Okay? So, like I said, I'm going to teach you the correct way of using this. Now, listen. Okay? You can see what's going on. Now, I have to take a look because the sound has died a little. So, what we're going to do is I want to look a level of the beat, okay, minus 9, EQ, okay, I got you, so we got a little out the EQ, we must raise it back, okay, back where it was, okay, now, same thing, we're going to do, I'm going to go to the limiter and cut it on. And because when you use this compressor, it takes some of the sound away. You see it's taken away, so I got to get, get a bunch back up there. Okay. Now, that's a kick compressor. These curves freak the beat. If you change them, it just makes it, it like uh, snaps the beat. It makes it jerks around a little bit. Okay. So. That's EQ and compression for that. Now, I previously did the bass, like we seen. So if we use them, them two, let me cut on the bass. Okay, now this is 
difference from using plugins. Now, what I'm going to do is I did that one and I did the bass also too with the limiter. Okay, you see this. Okay, that's how you're going to do each of your instruments. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between plugins. All right, this sounds nice, but like I said, they say engineers, but when we use this, this here, nobody knows what this does. As a producer, you got to know this. This is crazy. So you got to know what this do. All right. So we're going to listen to the difference between that and this. Here's the SSL followed by 1176 compressor. Now let's hear that kick. Now, you see why, as a producer, why we use these instruments. I know why I'm using them. You see how I think it sounds, right? And that sounds cool. This is what it's supposed to sound. That's why you use this. This is Waves.com. I'm going to do a tutorial on this too. Okay? Now, to add to that, okay, if I wanted to, okay, as a producer, I got this set up. You listen to this bass. Okay. Now listen to it now. When I add our bass. Okay. This is why we can go in and use our arsenal of weapons. This is what goes in. What you think that you hear and beats ain't what it is. All right. You're listening on the radio, but you got to listen how we listen to get you to that stage. I'm going to get you there. OK, everything I'm saying is 100. Now, let's see if we turn the beat on. OK, let's hit the snare. OK, now I can already hear that I need to do something to this. To number one, this clap. Okay, what I'm going to do is begin the same thing. Now, we're looking at this in bar grab. I know this is what you get. So, you don't, if you look at it, okay, let's go to it. Okay, just this clap. All right, we'll turn off everything else. Okay. Okay. If we look at this clap. This will be going to look at. Okay. Now. On here. No. Okay. Now. On here. You see it just goes from about right here to here. But originally. Look. This is what you do. You make this steep. You go into about a hundred. Okay, 100. Okay. Okay, about 100, 130. Now. Come in here and high, low pass. But you got to make the order steep. That bring the sounds back and pull this to like 8, 8 pound. Okay, now the next thing you can go add mid right here and show you you don't do drastic way out like this you don't do that every step is minute all right so that's for that now it's in its place okay now we'll we're gonna look at and see how much it actually is versus okay okay now we're gonna Use the limiter. Same technique. Remember, turn this off. Okay. Now, turn in the ratio. I know it's two to one, but actually, I'm going to go about two, almost three with this clap. Now, let me bring down a threshold. Okay. Now, I don't want it. I want to hear the clap. I want to let it in. Now, I can use the release to hold it for a while or just let it go through. 
All right. And then copy the attack to the sustain, but I'm going to listen. Yeah. That's really like parallel compression. I can add a little flavor. Okay. Now, saturation. Just a little. Too much is not cool. Now, remember the same pattern. Copy. Go to the limiter. We're going to paste. We're going to copy the release. We're going to paste it to the limiter. Okay. And the same thing goes for the sustain. We're going to paste that value to the limiter. Okay. Now, that's going to make the sound go down a little because that's what compression do. Let's go back. Okay. Just a little bit over this line right here. Now, when we add it, remember compression takes sound away. So we got to give it some gain. Okay. Now, to it remains the same sound. Okay, now what's killing me now is this hi-hat. Okay, remember hi-hat technique. If I go to these hats, right here, out. If I turn it down, listen to them now. You have twing, 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 twing. No, cut all that noise off. That's how pros do it, all right? I'm telling you what time it is. I'm giving you game. I'm looking at two monitors if you see me look up. But anyway, okay, now, after we got this established, okay, what we're going to do is, is EQ these hats. So what I'm going to do is come in here. You see, only information is about here to here. So you I pass. All right. And... I'll make a steep six and I'm gonna pull this in. I give it to its high mid so I don't take everything away from it. And I don't want it too screechy. I'll make the order six and I can just hold it here at 12 if I want or I can pull it down. So it depends. Let's listen to it. Okay. Now, EQing. See? They go that saturation. Give it that terrible. See how much cleaner it sounds. Go to ratio. Let's go to the one. Okay. Now, next, we're going to set threshold. Okay, I'm listening myself to see where it's needed. Now, they'll tell you do this and it ain't working to like that. No, it's not. Listen to that. It's crushing. That's false information. Now, it's being compressed, but it sounds nice. Okay, and you want the compression on this fast. You want the release of it quick. Now, you can use the sustain to kind of get back the ring to it, but not too much of the ring. All right, same basic things. You can add a little need for flavor, and you can add a little saturation. Okay, now, do the same thing. Copy. You're going to come over here to the limiter, paste that value, because even this is making it, until you do this, it's making it sound, uh, different. See, that's why everything must be the same in order. All right. Now, if you listen to that, that's a good hi-hat. It sounds nice and clean. Now, let's hear the beat. sound okay now same thing about this but what I'm gonna do is show you one more example right because I don't want to take too long and this is on um, vocals this is what EQing does to vocals so 
I just made up anything. Let's listen. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta do that. Okay, now if you listen to this, all right, let me see the other one. Yeah, got R Vox too. Now, this is another plug-in, but I'm gonna show you it without it. But with it, it's super fire. But anyway, now to that vocal track. This is the same thing. Gotta go, gotta do that. Now, gotta go, gotta do that. Now you can barely see the vocal here. You can barely see it. Okay. When I play it, gotta go, gotta do that. All right, so you're gonna have to watch my tutorial on vocals. All right, so I'm gonna give you just a starter. All right, with men, okay, we're gonna use high pass. With males, you have to pull this. I want the order steep. Okay, 100 to 100. And for females, it's different, but I'm gonna show you high pass this and set in order right i'm gonna show you what needs to be done gotta go, gotta do that. now at a certain level you'd have to watch my videos but at a certain level the voice becomes irritated to the ear now you're gonna learn that in some of my other videos that's coming out you're gonna learn everything okay at 300 is always a terrible spot. So I'm just pulling down. Okay, let me let me leave it back where they was and I'm going to pull down. I'm going to let you listen. So we're going to just listen to the, the vocals and see why we EQ them. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta move that. Okay, now the first thing wrong with the vocals that we looking at. Prime number one. Gotta okay. go. Now, you hear that error when they come on? This is the reason why when you do your beats and you send your tape in, if I got shh and then backgrounds, I'm gonna get too much air and it sound like you made it at home. This is why. So what we gotta do is we gonna have to go to this vocal track Left click, we're gonna right click, we're gonna take it to Edison. Okay, this is Edison. This is how you remove noise out of the background. I got tutorials coming on this too. So, one thing, we want this, this little line. We don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want that. We want this. All right, you left click until you get a red line. Hit the toothbrush. All right, except. Okay, now stretch it out. It's going to remember that this amount of noise is going to take out. I made it all the way red so it may not out of this whole track. Now hit the toothbrush again. Now, the vocal that we heard when I push this out, it's going to be ultra quiet. Making my demo sound good. Okay, now I push that out. Okay, let's go find it. Okay, here it is here. So um, this is this one. Okay, now let's go to the track and look. Here's the new one created. So I'm going to take the scissor tool, right click, pull down, and the shortest end would disappear. Okay, so this one is a good one with your copy of this one. But this one is different because it's a different vocal. So this one here we can get rid of, okay, which, let me play it, gotta go, gotta do that, gotta go, gotta move that, gotta go, gotta do that, okay, which is this one, okay, let me just make sure, let me go, let me make sure, let me see again, gotta go, yeah. Okay, that's that one. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna right click, and what I'm gonna do is, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. Okay. Delete. Okay. So that's the one we don't need. And I'm going to renumber it 14 again. And I'm going to put it right back home. Um, off and up. All right. So now it's back in order. Okay. Now back to this focal. Okay. Now I'm going to play it. Got to do that. Gotta go, gotta move that. Okay, now you see all that air, you can hear barely even, but it's clean. All right, I'm gonna do the end answers is better. All right, but after I got that out, okay, now what is this next step? Now I'm gonna use the R compressor. This is gonna make it sound even better. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta move that. Gotta go, gotta do that. Now, it brings the vocal forward. Now, let's hear the beat. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta move that. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta move that. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta move that. Now, if I want to have a little fun with it, right, have a little fun with that track, we'll come in here and we'll go to the pitch. Let's turn the pitch down. Let's listen to it like this. Oh, not this. That's the wrong one. But this one, let's hear it like this. Gotta go, gotta do that. Gotta go, gotta move EQing and compression does to vocals. It brings them out. Now you see the difference between a beat maker. Like I say, when you watch my videos, always throwing something extra for you. So before you know it, you'll be producing like a real producer. I don't give you anything that's false or my information is good. There's a whole lot of topics that I'm going to talk about. I want to get you to being the producer that you need to be. That's what I'm here to help you. You're in music school. When you subscribe and you hit the notification button, you'll know everything else. I upload videos daily. I do beats and I also broadcast live on YouTube. So you need to uh, hang out. And so I can, you know, you come in here, watch me do it live. You can learn even more. You know what I mean? Because I have a longer time putting a big beat together and I'm doing a lot of other things and you'll learn more therefore you get better you know what i'm saying i got hookups to do's and don'ts what to do what not to do all of this any tutorial or anything you want done all right i also got a female voice that's in here i also teach singing too so let's hear that with this mix The same principle goes for this voice too. Okay, now if we want to listen to the background Now, when EQing voice vocals for female, we're going to cut you on two some. All right, we're going to come make a low pass here. Okay, now the reason why, because females you cut at 200, males 100. You'd have to watch my uh, other videos. I'm explaining why, but they differ sometimes. So you have to watch my videos to know why you're doing what you're doing. Okay, so what I'm doing, because I know that somewhere up here at 42s is a bad spot. All right, so that's why you're seeing me pull 
from out of here, out the vocal. Let's play the vocal on your watch. It's gonna hear it clean up. with this vocal I'm going to do a detach and first of all I just want to hear the vocal okay now even though I'm doing that here we go again let's go back Okay, first things first. What's wrong? Too much air. Left click. Okay, and then we're going to go up here to an Edison. Click, pick a little piece, get the toothbrush, correct, swipe the whole thing red, hit the toothbrush, accept, done, push, new copy out. Okay. Make sure you turn Edison off or two vocals to play at once. All right. Now, here go the new one. And um, let me see. Oh, that's the new one. And this is the old one. Okay. Let me play. It. No, yes. No. No, yes. Okay. Now, let me see. Because we got to get these two together. Okay, 14, and this is 15, so that means you're the bad one. Okay, so that means we're going to do a, a delete. Okay, and we're going to play it. No, yes. No. Okay, it's on the mixer channel. Let's put it back on 15. Now, with this, this is what I'm telling you, how the voice is jumping out at you. So, first, we got to... Clean it up. No, yes. No. Now, I'm going to sweep through the voice for bad spots. No, yes. No. Let's no. see where it's whistly. Notice the no, voice yes. is going to start sound no. better and no. better. My nasal. No, yes. No. no. Okay. It's more nasalier. No, yes. No. You see how the voice is coming more clear? Where's your other bone? No, yes. Yeah. No. No. Okay, I got you. No, yes. No. No. Let me hear it again. No, yes. No. Yeah, it sounds no. muffled. Like, uh-huh. Right. No, yes. No. No. Okay. Now. You just heard this, okay? Now, we're gonna use, um, after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another treat in here for y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna use um, the SSL again, okay? Um, I'm just showing you with stock plugins, um, but, um, Now, I took the bad out the voice, okay? Now I gotta put the good back in the voice. No, yes. No. No. No, yes. No. No. No, yes. No. No. Okay, I'm putting the, the good back. No, yes. No. As I do cuts. No, yes. No. No. Okay. No, yes. No. No. Okay. And we're going to cut you it too. No, yes. No. No. No, yes. No. A detach mean I can come up here. Now I two. No, yes. 
Oh, wait a minute. The little dark. No. Dark. Okay. Now let's see what we're gonna no, do. No. Yes. No. No. We're gonna do attack up front. No. Yes. No. No. Okay. Now I want to gate. No. Yes. No. So I'm gonna go and oh yeah, I want to quiet in between that. No. Yes. No. Now. How do you know this is working? Enough no, compression, yes. this yellow light no. come on. And you know the gate is working, this is green. Okay? Now. No, yes. No. No. Okay. Now this is a background sound. No, yes. Now let's cut it back with the music. Then we're going to add also our box to this. Okay? I mean, cut, cut it on yet. All right, here we go. Let me first, let me mute it. Okay. Here you go. No, yes. No. My R box. No, yes. No. No. Okay. No, yes. No. no. chain is so much I can do I can come and get the um, um, Rudy okay. and Like I said, in my videos, I always give you more. So I hope you learned what you learned today. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know uh, the, your notification button. Therefore, when I make another, bit, another videos to get you to be the dopest producer you can ever be, you'll know. Hit the notification button. Yo, this has been my video. Michael Mike, word. Comment. If you got any comments, let me know if I helped you or not. Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs down. Either way, I got love for you. Right? I'm out. No, yeah.